Ready, one, two, three. Boom! Ready, pull out of that face. Massive fish! Oh, right there, baby. Oh my god, come on. This is insane, bro. <laughs> Joey Slam. So Slayers, it's a beautiful day here, out here in my beautiful pond, our beautiful lake, and here we have Tubbs. And Tubbs is just here, minding his own business, just chilling, just chewing on my pump. <laughs> just doing a little something, I don't know what's going on here, but he's, he's coming out here today, there's freshly cut grass everywhere, and he's just chewing. He's right here, just minding his own business, and just chilling. Hey buddy, hey, how you doing? He's getting some air. He's big. Uh, if you can kind of gauge it, you kind of can't. Tubbs is about maybe seven, eight feet. And he's just chilling. But my concern is that he is literally just gnawing on my pump. <laughs> he's just out here chewing on this pump. I don't know what the deal is. And we cannot touch our guy. We can't. <laughs> we can't. It's not legal here in Florida. They're endangered. And we just got to let him do his thing. So I had turned off that pump because I wanted to drain my pond because of the storm. The pond was high and it was leaking everywhere. So, but we have our boy here. This is nuts. And he's just there chilling, just chewing on my, my pump. And uh, I don't really know what to do here in this scenario. I can turn on the pump and spook him. He might be cleaning my pump. Look, he's literally, he's doing that. And maybe I should grab it. I don't know. But look, if you guys look, that's my pump right there and our boy Tubbs is just doing something all right slayers before i go ahead and head to that undisclosed location i want to go ahead and show you guys this awesome drone footage that i was able to get courtesy of the local police department barbara is right here coasting around using that big old tail hitting the plumes and she's found her way through this waterway system here in florida into our local lake the community believes that she's gonna honestly destroy our lake by consuming so much of its food that's the situation we have and we got in contact with fwc and partnered with the local fire department and the local police department to possibly be getting this beautiful specimen out of our lake the local police department and wildlife and game um they went ahead and sent out some volunteers to pretty much go door by door and sign a petition to see who is willing to go ahead and help them in pretty much capturing barbara okay barbara the manatee so as you guys can see manatee rescue is here florida wildlife and game has come here we have two tracker boats kayaks an entire team everything here today which is absolutely insane if you look at it right there wildlife alert hotline you get the truck the whole neighborhood here is ready to go. They're gonna be rescuing my pet manatee, our pet manatee here, guys, uh, Barbara. You know Barbara, we saw Barbara here, we saw Barbara behind the house. Barbara is actually right there, all the way at the end. They know what's going on, she knows what's going on. There's a whole squad, everyone's concerned because we want this manatee to be safe, and unfortunately, there is not enough food here. So what's gonna be crazy is when they actually lift up Barbara and put her right into the truck. Look at the squad they brought for the wildlife and game. It's pretty wild. I'm gonna say that myself. I'm pretty wild. I'm kind of stoked because I want to see uh, Barbara's true side. For wildlife and game is doing a giant mission here. They're gonna be getting all their volunteers and their officers, as you guys can see. We have all the trucks, everything ready to go to go ahead and get Barbara out of my lake <laughs> this is gonna be insane i'm really curious to see what happens here and how we go ahead and handle it and hopefully barbara is super 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 safe if you're looking over here they're setting out a massive siege net a massive net that will go ahead and cover from one end to the other and they're pretty much gonna just block off that area and just gonna go all the way around this entire lake and try to push Barbara into that corner so that they can carry her and put her inside of the truck that's over there. I would love to try to get an angle for you guys right there to pretty much see the entire process. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to have a nice little conversation with Florida Wildlife and Game, but honestly, what matters is the safety of our manatee pretty much. I will tune back in once there's a, a little bit of action. Oh my God, guys. So they already went ahead and pushed the manatee into that corner. As you guys can see, they have a system going on. You grab one net from one other side, you grab a boat, grab the other net, drop it, make sure she is trapped. They have literally lured this manatee right here. And she is right there. 
Ah, oh, man, I wish I could get that angle. I might have to go ahead and walk over, see if it's okay with everybody else to come by. Wow. But she's in there. They have a guy in the water all the way at the end. Boats right here. Everything good to go. They're using these John boats, which are prime for this type of this type of mission, I guess. I think she just took off. I think she's gone. It looks like she took off. I don't think she's in there anymore. This is ridiculous. I came around the other side just to see an update and talk to the officers. And turns out, <laughs> I saw the manatee kicking up. Barbara was right here. So she might be deep. I don't know. So as you guys can see here, we have the mat. We have everything here. We're locked and loaded. Talk to the owner. Thankfully, he allowed me onto the property. And we have a massive plan here, guys. Massive plan. Perfect. So we deal. So this is a sleeve that they're going to go ahead and be on. They're going to put the manatee inside the sleeve and then move it right here onto the manatee rescue. Check that out. This is going to be insane that we're going to be able to document this, guys. Super calm. This is crazy. Moving in. It's almost that time. There she is right there. She's getting anxious now that they're getting into the water. Let's keep an eye on it. On that end, on either side of the net, get away from that, come in and start the reverse. See what's happening. Things in the net now. Uh, just let's just get around. Let's, let's not get right by the net. I think we're clear. I mean, it should be okay. Start slowly pulling the net. You guys are going to pile it up there. You let's bring this net in on the inside of this rebar. Bring, swing it in and then go. Yeah, I, sorry, oh, yeah, she's in the net for sure. Ready. Now they have built the net and then okay, get it right there. And you guys are piling your net up by that orange type torch, that orange bucket. We're, we're going this way right now. Get out of the way. Make sure a lot of them are doing thing. We're gonna start getting people out of the water as we get closer. Okay. All right, she's sticking. All right, let's just do lead line. You guys, you guys start getting out of the water. You guys start trying. Oh. Pilot, keep pulling. No more float line, please. No more float line. Just leads, lead line only. Lead line, lead line. You guys can go lead. Julie, I want you out of the water. Slow, 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 slow. Bring the floats in. Yeah, can I actually have to go behind me? You got it. All right, everybody bag. Hang on, hang on. Let me get out. Let us get out. Pinch the corners. Pinch the corners. Pinch, let's close the bag all together. Guys, pinch that all up. Pinch that all up. Cool. Hey, look at this drag room. Good job, all right, somebody guys. Somebody take my spot here. If I need to lift over that rock. Okay. All right, um, you guys in the middle, come from underneath. If you don't want to roll the animal up on the rock, keep going, keep going, keep going. Underneath, underneath, underneath. Ready? Underneath. Ready, one, two, three. One, two, three. Hang on, hang on. Wow. Keep going, keep going. Ready? Oh my goodness gracious, she's up. She is coming up. All right, spin it. Yeah, we can. See side, move that way. Towards the water. You guys can come from underneath too. We need slack on the nose for our breath. Yeah. Slack on the nose. Thank you. Um, we can move stretcher closer. Yeah, let's 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 yeah. get a let's get a quarter turn of the animal so the head's away from the water. Okay. We're turning everything this way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna go and get the stretcher on. Look at the size of our manatee. They did it. Look at their face. Oh, they're behind us. Yeah. 
behind you, behind you. Somebody say the tilapia. Okay, put her on the side. Look at this. Amazing. Alright, do we want to move the net off of the structure? Yes, sir. Okay. He's, he's, he's locked in there. Alright. So let's lay the stretcher. Alright, Slayer, so I'm letting them do their thing, but guys, watch. Check this out. Here, now they grab the stretcher or the sling. We're gonna pick them up and down. So let's cradle, cradle the head. tail, got the head we're gonna move. We're gonna shift this little body to here. Okay, we don't have to go really high, just up and down. Ready? Yep, hang it. Yep, one, two, three, up and down. Okay. Another one of those half half of what we just did there. Ready? Come on, set face. Okay. Is there is there a better like? Yeah. Oh, it's maybe maybe. I don't like all these trees. Maybe right from the lift gate. Do you guys have any slack? Are we? Okay, no. let's let's pick up on the stretcher. We're gonna move the animal this way, just like six inches. On the stretcher, right? Just on the stretcher. Yep. On the stretcher. Not on the stretcher. On the stretcher. One, two, three. Nice. Okay. Alright, can we move all this guy off the way? Yeah. 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 That poor tilapia never stood a chance. Jeez. Wait. 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 They're firing up the truck, they're ready to go. We got the manta here. So far the rescue has been successful now we just need to go ahead and drag this i gotta make sure i stay out of their way they're allowing me to film this but check it out we have barbara manatee inside this stretcher right now they went ahead and put out the hydraulics here we go that is a big manatee regardless doesn't matter it's gonna be 500 to 700 plus pounds the thing is absolutely massive just staying out of their way so they can go ahead and move this animal nice and safely so when we make this move, let's go down the brick Setting up the mats. Look at how many people they have. They're like 15 people right here. Oh, yeah. This thing's going to go ahead and protect them from getting hit, obviously, in all the bricks and everything like that. But this is absolutely insane, guys. Manatee Rescue in our local neighborhood. Here you go, here you go. Right. Steps, watching it on the side. Yeah. On the phone pad, you can. Do it. Yeah, we should go. Just keep on. Yeah, you're good. There she's going. Keep going, keep going. Look at that. Sheesh. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, let's kick the tail that way and then we'll get the flipper. We have the bucket of water close by. Bucket of water, he's over there. Look at that. All right, now they're getting the manatee ready to go. Then they're going to load the manatee, this bucket of water right here. They're going to go and sleep. Put water on the manatee constantly make sure that back is wet their air breathers they always say hey breath when they see that notice that the man is taking a breath here you go open there over what is happening oh wow guys he's still kind of chunky Oh, here you go, guys. They got the sling. They have the bucket of water to go ahead and constantly put on the manatee to make sure she's moist. She should be good to go. Look at that. That is a heavy mammal. And this rescue looks like it's going to be a success today, guys. This is, this is insane. Here she goes. Here you go. Oh, my gosh. What a rescue, what a mission today, guys. 
The fact that Barbara's gonna be okay and living and happy and healthy back in the ocean where she belongs is honestly very happy for me. I'm super stoked, I'm super happy. Glad I can go ahead and take you guys on this amazing adventure that happens just here in local Florida. Things happen, this is Florida, baby. Look at, I know it's a little loud, but look at look at this t entire team. Foam pads, make sure everything was okay. The nets, they gotta make sure the, the nets are out of the water eventually. They're getting this, look, there she goes. She's going up, they're taking her home. Wow, amazing guys, absolutely amazing. I don't think we'll be able to go ahead and get any more clips, any more content with these guys. So Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure.